you ever see something on TikTok and then you're like, dude, I totally got to do that. And then you take apart a cabinet at 10 o'clock at night because you're like, I got to do it now. That's what this is. I will say I've been avoiding this cabinet for a very long time. I've had this wallpaper for at least a few months. And when this wonderful gem of a video scrolled across my For You page of a woman organizing her mugs with lazy Susans, I knew that it was time. Mind you, I had done all the other cabinets except for this one. This one seemed incredibly daunting because of the amount of glassware I was going to have to go through, all the things I had to declutter and get rid of. I really hate organizing all the mugs and cups because it just makes me feel like I have so much to go through. And that's actually the case still, even with doing this project, but it made it so much more manageable because I wanted things to look pretty and I wanted everything to fit. And it really was time to declutter. I hadn't really organized everything. I just knew what I was keeping and whatever I wasn't, I put to the side. I took all the shelving down because that's the easiest part to do. And I'm kind of a pro at measuring things at this point, so this was pretty easy. As you can see in the beginning, I had actually wrapped everything in fabric and it just didn't stay. And then we had one of those ice dams in the kitchen and it went through the wall. So it's just been a kind of a mess in this area. But now I had a real reason to do something. And you know, when they talk about hyperfixation in ADHD, which by the way, I only have the markers for, which means that they will not give me a true diagnosis of ADHD. They just say it's all driven by anxiety, which is fair. It's fair. But when you have that hyperfixation moment and you have a reason to do something, things get done. And I have to say this project was so much fun. I'm really happy that I did it. And I'm glad that I finally took the time to find something on my For You page that would force me to do something that I hadn't wanted to do before. So what I'll say is this was only done to see, to see if it would work. I wasn't even sure that it would work. But in order for me to get the complete dopamine fix I'm looking for, I had to do the entire cabinet. And I don't cut corners. Everything had to be done correctly because I was never planning to do this again because my kitchen has lemons all over the walls and not even all that wallpaper is up, but this is fine. This is one cabinet. It's not overwhelming when it's only one. This is me putting my mugs to the side because I thought these were the ones that needed to find a new home. And I wish I could tell you I was a better person that after I peeled off the contact paper that was there from before, I went through and scrubbed and cleaned, but I didn't because I don't. That's just not what I'm going to do. Plus, the tackier, the better at this point, because I need this stuff to stay. So again, I measure to the best of my ability. I've put up many a roll of wallpaper, and they all kind of act the same. The image itself is incredibly forgiving, which makes it really easy to apply and reapply. And honestly, once you put up one roll of wallpaper, everything else is pretty simple after that. You know what's not simple? is taking out these little brads that hold up the shelving, because sometimes you snap it off when you don't realize your own strength. And then you realize all you had to do was wiggle it out a little at a time. Anyway, I cut everything to size and then I make holes in the wallpaper as I need to for the brads that we're going to put back in to hold up the shelving. I hadn't measured anything as far as where the shelving was going to sit, but yeah, I had a general idea. Again, random strips of wallpaper, incredibly forgiving image, made this project that much easier. Usually when I measure one side, I also do however many other sides that are the same length, height, and width and make sure that that piece is already ready to go because once you measure once, why do you need to measure a second time? Then all I had to do was the bottom. And I chose to use scraps for this. I'm not going to work too hard. If you're going to do any project like this, I still recommend using an X-Acto knife to make sure that you get the edges correct. Mine are a little jagged here because I chose to use scissors, but I just couldn't find my X-Acto knife at the time. I started with a brand new roll of wallpaper because I had already done one of these cabinets and I knew what the measurements looked like. I did a shoddy job at best of making sure that these measurements were lined up and I ended up moving the shelving a few times. But really, I just wanted to fit my giant tumblers because I use them most often. I also wanted to make sure that I had space for my Pyrex and any jars that were not in use for storage at the time. And honestly, it'd be really cool to just have one space for everything. Now, after these shelves were up, I could move on to the reason why I started this whole project to begin with. To see if it were possible to put these mugs on a lazy Susan. And as you can see, with the joy in my face, well, I mean, I guess you don't see it here, but you can see me putting things away. And now organizing other things because everything should have a space. The project not only worked for that woman on TikTok, but also for me. And now look at me. I'm so organized. Nobody talk about the fact that I have too many mugs, okay? Because that's not what this is about. This is about you allowing yourself to be who you are, lean into your hyperfixation, and hit that dopamine. Because why do anything if it's not for the dopamine?